Okay, everybody, I, we finished scrubbing. I wanted to tell you, uh, a lot of people say to me, can I touch my fingers after I scrub? You, it's not really necessary. Just if you want to keep your hands up. The most important thing you need to remember is once you scrub, don't do this. Don't put your hands below your waist. Your hands have to stay up above your waist at this point from now on, okay? And uh, if, when you, uh, just bend a little bit at the waist. Just keep your hands up. And remember, when you go into the room, the door will be closed. So you're going to have to open it going backwards in with hands in front. Remember, don't go through this process and push the door up. Wee! That's not what we do. We go in with our backs. Okay, so I've uh, we've done gone, I've uh, done my scrub. My hands are above my waist, and Robin, the sur uh, surgical tech is going to come. Or actually, she's a nurse, and uh, nurses and techs do scrub, and she is going to hand me the towel. Usually, like I said, this is uh, for everybody that's left-handed. This is a right man's world. So she's going to put this glove on my this towel, blue towel, on my right hand. I'm going to excuse me, on my left hand, and I'm going to dry my right hand first. How do I do that? I turn each finger. I twist each finger in the towel and I twist my arm up, okay? I pay attention to bend forward because if I'm doing this, I've, con I've already contaminated this towel and they have to give me a new one. So remember, at this point you are bent forward, twist your fingers, twist up, all the way up. Now, I have to dry my left hand. Oh my God, how am I going to do that? Ladies and gentlemen, it's very easy. You see this towel? I have, this hand has to be dried, I have, this, just take this towel, if this makes sense, you want to think of this towel as a half and a half. So I just put my dry hand under the dry side, and I put, and I take my wet hand and dry the next hand. Okay, and do the, repeat the same process as I did. So remember everybody, it's one hand, put the other hand, the dry hand underneath, wet on top. Okay, one more time, hand wipe. Put my dry hand under the dry side, wipe. When I'm finished, I'm going to put that in the correct receptacle. Okay? So I hope that makes sense to everybody. That's where everybody gets a little nervous about the towel, but if you just think of it like a platter, or just or like a, just an open cloth, one, two. There's no necessary, and I'm going to show you one thing. I'm taking this back, excuse me. There's no, there's no reason to be twisting and turning this back and forth and flipping. There's no, that's not necessary. Because remember, this has lint on it. You don't want to be throwing lint around the oil. Okay, so that's taken care of, and now it's time to go. Okay? Okay, everyone. So now my faithful assistant, Robin, who's another registered nurse, she's been uh, going to help us in, to demonstrate the next part, is putting the gown and the gloves on. Okay? So just pretend like we normally do in the class that I am the scrub tech, and I've come to you with the gown and glove. Okay? The first thing they're going to do is come and she's going to hold this up to you. See how Robin's arms are right here? They're not up in the air. They're not down here. They're almost like shoulder level. The minute she does that, the scrub nurse is going to bend her arm, your arm like so, and she's going to pull this down, your uh, cuff down to about halfway. The reason we do that is when we put your gloves on, we don't want your gun all the way up here. So we give it a little space. Okay? So we're going to pull right down to here. Remember, remember that when they're putting the gown on, after the gown is on, Bend your arms like so. Now, I'm pretend now, because this is all simulation, now I'm the circulator. I've gone from the scrub tech to the circulator. The, cir the, the circulator or one of your contemporaries can come behind and tie you up, okay? All right? So that's done. Now, okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the, glove and glo put the gloves on. If you're left-handed like myself, this is a right man's word, like I've told you. Everything is done with the right hand first. So what's going to happen, the scrub tech is going to open the glove up, and she's going to hold it open like so, and you're going to put your hand in. Very good. Now say she makes a mistake like she did. That's okay. Once you start the process, don't try to pull your hand up because you made a mistake. You continue with the process, because when you put your second glove on, you can fix it. What happens with the left glove is you're, this is where you have audience participation, so to speak. You're going to help put on your second glove. You're going to also hold it like this, but you're going to put your fingers out, hand out, and you're going to put the second glove on. Now you're able to fix your gloves. Okay? Robin is almost ready now to go. Okay. Now it's time to take the tie. A lot of people get very nervous with the tie because they don't know which end is which. 
The only thing that only, I try to think of a, a little clue. The only thing I can say is the longest tie which you see is to your right is the one that the tag goes on. Okay. The short one is to the left. So what you're going to do with your left hand, you're going to take the left string. With your right hand, you're going to grab the tag with with the string. Now, as me, if I was a circulator, my dual roll, I can only touch this. If the, if the tech is not here, I can only touch this part. Now, if I was the scrub tech, I can take this right from Robin, any part of this. So just remember, there's a green line there, only half. If you're, the, if you're not scrub, you can only touch the green half. She's going to let go, and she's going to twirl. Okay, she's going to take that one off, and she's going to tie it. Don't tie it too tight, where you can't get it off. Where it's so tight, now, the reason I tell you that, is when it's time for taking the gown off. Okay. Now Robin is finished. She'll follow along with me. Now that we're done, we can put our hands like so. We can fold them. We can put our hands like this. We can even put our hands right up to our elbows. Okay? If we want, we can hold on to our gown. What we cannot do is we cannot put our hands below our waist. I don't want to see anybody with their hands underneath their armpits because it's not sterile down there. And I don't want to see anybody with their hands on their hips. Okay, we're not that smart. Okay? So, having, so again, hands folded, hands uh, touching the, uh, your, the shanks of your arms, your arms, or holding your gown. That's the proper way to be in a gown. The next thing we're going to go in the front, there's only two more things I need to show you now, is how do we operate, or how do we move around in the operating room once we're gown and gloved. Pretend, if you will, that this is the table where the um, patient is. What can you do? You can put your hands lightly on the on the, a table, on the OR table where the patient is. Nobody but nobody puts elbows in the patient. I know sometimes they ask you to hold retractors. That doesn't give you the the, the go ahead to get your elbows in here and put your and put your elbows into the patient. Remember. This is a patient, I know some of them are nice and soft, but do not do that, please. You really can hurt them. Okay, so we're standing here together. If, you, if you're standing for a long period of time and you get tired, on all the OR tables there's a little lever. There's a, excuse me, a little level at the bottom of it. You can always put your foot up on that and that helps to release some of the pressure from your back. Now, we were here with Dr. Slakey doing our liver reception. He said, Nancy, I need you and Robin to switch places because I need you up here. How do we do that? Always remember sterile to sterile and non-sterile to non-sterile. So if I'm moving towards Robin, what is she going to do? She's going to turn and she's going to come around and she's going to be right here. Okay, let's do that one more time. Now with her moving towards me, we turn back to back and front to front. And somebody, said, somebody asked me, well, how do I know if I'm being the back to back or the front to front? I always say whoever makes the first at move, that's going to be your, the person going sliding. Okay, the person that doesn't, that is waiting, is going to be the person that's turning. Now, how do we move about the table? How will we go around the OR table? What Robin will do if they need her to get on the other side of the room, other side of the table, she will keep her sterile self facing the table and she'll move around this way. Always keeping, always towards sterile, towards sterile. Okay, now you'll say, well, sometimes in the operating room, Nancy, you know, I've got to walk all the way around like the bovie and some other things. Well, you do have to do that sometimes. But you still always want to face forward. Other people say, well, you know, the, 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 um, the table's back there with all the uh, instruments on it and my back isn't sterile. It's okay because you are not, your back is not directly onto the table like this. You are moving in this kind of an action. Okay? So you're always keeping that sterile movement. Okay? Any questions? I don't think so. Okay. Now the last thing we're going to do is, if Rob will come over here, we're going to say, how do we ungown? There's two ways now of taking your gown off. After you've popped, some people like to keep their gloves on, some people take them off. If you're not taking your gloves off, if you're leaving your gloves off, which I normally do in case I have to do anything else, I pull the gown down and always roll forward, always away from you. And then, so, okay, so the gown, so once the gown is off, that goes in the red receptacle, remember that. And how do we take gloves off? Remember, skin to skin and glove to glove. So to take a glove off, you want to take a glove, and then you stick your finger under, underneath and take the glove. There you go. Okay? That way, nothing that's on these gloves is touching you. 
okay? If you choose, some places do require, prefer that you take your gloves off with your gun. That means just pull the whole thing off, okay? And if you have to touch anything else, put a pair of utility gloves on, okay? Uh, that's it for this part of operating well in the operating room.